Remove the temporary. Remove possible residue of the temporary looting material with a polishing brush and an oil and fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as the fluoride-free Proxit. Subsequently, rinse the cavity or preparation with water spray and dry it with water and oil-free air. When trying in the permanent restoration, check the accuracy of fit, shade effect, and occlusion of the restoration. If the restoration has already been blasted with aluminum oxide in the laboratory, clean the bonding surface with IvoClean, for example. Subsequently, rinse the preparation with water spray and dry it with oil and moisture-free air. Clean the cavity or preparation again with a polishing brush and an oil and fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as the fluoride-free Proxit. Finally, rinse the cavity or preparation with water spray and dry it with air. Avoid over-drying. Apply the desired amount of multi-link speed directly from the auto-mix syringe to the bonding surface of the restoration. Seat the restoration and hold it in place, exerting uniform pressure. Light cure excess cement with a polymerization light, such as Blue Phase N, at a light intensity of 650 milliwatts per square centimeter, for 1 to 2 seconds per quarter surface. Make sure that the distance between the light probe and the restoration is 10 millimeters at maximum. The gel-like excess can be easily removed with a scaler. Just like all other composite resins, multi-link speed is subject to oxygen inhibition. In order to counteract this effect, cover the restoration margins with glycerin gel or air block immediately after you have removed the excess cement. Liquid strip is ideal for this purpose. Subsequently, light cure all cement lines again at a light intensity of 1,200 milliwatts per square centimeter for 20 seconds using blue phase N in the high power mode. If you have used opaque restorative materials that are impervious to light, wait for the self-curing mechanism to take effect. Then rinse off liquid strip. If you have used a rubber dam, such as Opterdam, you may now remove it. If you have used the relative isolation method, remove the optragate together with the absorbent pads, cotton rolls, and retraction cords. Finish the proximal surfaces using finishing and polishing strips. Check the occlusion and functional movements in the process, and make adjustments if necessary. Polish the restorative margins with polishers, such as Optropole, or with discs. Finally, apply a thin layer of floor protector with a Viva brush or a brush. Disperse the varnish with the air gun and dry it. 